is like expression broadcasting you live on YouTube and this is Forex Trading Course 101 and we are starting today happy Monday everybody we are starting the intermediate module so we are over the basic module market structure highs and lows and trends we are over we closed we finished the beginner module how to use trend lines, trends, support, resistance, pivot points and candlestick formation so we are starting today the intermediate module we are talking about multiple time frames, Fibonacci, crowns and news trading remember the three pillars we are still building a strategy and or a system hello George how are you? hello Miguel we are still trying to understand how risk management rules apply, how risk management works inside our strategy and or system and we are trying to understand how the psychology part affects our trading. Also remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not investment or trading advice, the webinars are for educational purposes only. Hello Silas! Either way, don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. And for homeworks and or questions, you have my Gmail contact, my Skype contact and my LinkedIn contact. That being said, let's dive into the live markets. And let's start trading Fibonacci numbers, the A, B, C, D swing and the rules. Okay, let's go. So we are going to have an uptrend let's coracle this let's coracle this in black something like this and we are going to have a downtrend okay we are going to have an upswing and we are we are going to have a downswing and we are going to name right we are going to have the a point which is the starting point then we are going to have the B point up in here in an uptrend AB then we are going to have a C point and we are going to have a D point and then we are going to talk about the rules because we have rules when it comes to the Fibonacci and the Fibonacci extensions and retracements 5 now hello how are you so A clone okay B clone uptrend downtrend okay clone A B C and D okay this what you see everybody this is the so called upswing and a downswing okay now you can conform an upswing right with an uptrend line and you can also conform a downswing with a downtrend line. So A B A B C D. Okay. So this is the so-called Fibonacci swing. Can you do the training if you have ten thousand dollars? What will be the leverage? Five now of number one. I don't understand your question. What do you mean? Can you do the training? And there are no there are no rules about leverage my friend okay leverage goes with the broker some brokers offer you 1 to 10 some 1 to 100 once they offer you 1 to 1000 leverage okay but remember leverage is a double edged sword and you shouldn't risk more than what beginner traders shouldn't risk more than 10% all over the world all over the board hello any okay so if you are a beginner trader and you are risking 1% per trade the maximum trades that you can open are 10 then you should stop a and or if you reach 10% drawdown you should call a professional trader or a mentor or somebody that can help you out okay five now off but how much should you use 
the less the less as possible less as possible go 1 to 100 okay 1 to 100 it's okay <laughs> why is that because you are going to burn your account this is why <laughs> look at position size calculator says Akos everybody you should educate yourself don't mix apples with bananas hello Akos how are you don't mix apples with bananas leverage is the size that your broker is allowing you to trade with okay with high leverage you are going to burn your account faster with small leverage you are going to burn your account a little bit <laughs> 1 to 10 yes it's okay for a beginner trader it's okay 1 to 10 it's okay no problem okay and Akko says look at position size calculator right to, cal to calculate position size okay everybody back to the ABC, ABCD swing okay in an uptrend now those are the rules okay the Fibonacci's they work in an uptrend the Fibonacci's work in a downtrend but the Fibonacci's they don't work in a sideways channel okay the Fibonacci numbers and the Fibonacci tool the Fibonacci don't work the Fibonacci doesn't work in a sideways channel okay no in an uptrend those are the rules what is an A an A is is the first is the first low in a downtrend in an uptrend A is the first low okay sometimes is the absolute low but many times is the first low okay and if in an uptrend the A is the first low guess what is going to be in a downtrend in a downtrend the A is the first high yes I'm going to show you later in the live market okay but those are the rules when before you are going to track the Fibonacci okay and you have it here you click on this symbol like an A and you have Fibonacci retracements okay this is the retracement we are going to use okay but let let's focus first on the rules okay I'm going to do it like this and like that so the A in an uptrend is the first low okay and in a downtrend the A is the first high those are the first two rules now what is the B point in an uptrend in an uptrend the B point the B point is the first high as soon as, as, as soon as possible after the A okay what happened to GBB and ZD? nothing what happened to the GBP and ZD? nothing happened to the GBP and ZD we are still shorting the market so what is the B? the B is the first high as soon as possible everybody after the A okay now I cannot mix topics okay if you have questions please call me on Skype or send an email okay we need to we need to focus on the course this is the Forex course okay but we are going to check GBP and the delay later we are going to check the we are going to find the ABCD swing okay so what is the A? the A is the first low in an uptrend the B is the first high as soon as possible after the A in a downtrend what is the B exactly the same just in the opposite direction so the B is the first low right as, a, as soon as possible after D 
the A. And those are the rules of the of the Fibonacci swing. And you need to learn those rules, everybody. If you're going to use the Fibonacci, you need to learn these rules, these concepts. So the B is the first low as soon as possible after the A. Okay? Now here comes the difficult part the C what is the C okay what is the C the C is the C is the lowest the lowest point not necessary not necessary a low inside the a b boundary boundary before the market hits the appropriate the extension wow wow i'm going to delete the sideways movement sideways out 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 so I'm going to delete even the Fibonacci here, so it, it's going to be too much information. So what is the A? The A in an uptrend, in an uptrend, in an up Fibonacci swing, the A is the first low, the B is the first high as soon as possible after the A. Now what is the C in an uptrend? The C is the lowest point, not necessarily a low but is the lowest point inside the AB boundary before the market hits the appropriate the extension and I'm sorry I hope my English I don't know if I have some grammar if I didn't some grammar mistakes does the A first low high mean that the A is the beginning of a trend sometimes yes sometimes no you can use the Fibonacci in different ways okay yes and no you can I mean you can use it as the beginning of a trend okay but not always okay George I'm going to show you just give me a few more minutes so if the C in an up Fibonacci is the lowest point not necessarily low inside the AB boundary before the market hits the property extension guess what is going to be the C in a downswing the C is going to be the not the lowest but the correct highest point not necessary a high inside the boundary before the market hits the appropriate the extension okay so this is A B C D and my Motorola is blinking <laughs> or whatever okay now and the D what is the D those are the rules okay you need to learn this you need to remember this what is the D the D is the appropriate extension regarding regarding the C retracement retracement is the appropriate extension regarding the C retracement okay and goes the same in a downtrend okay everybody so let's go step by step one more time in an uptrend first okay first let's address the uptrend the up ABCD swing or the so-called the Fibonacci swing in an uptrend the A is the first low okay remember the A must be a low in an uptrend it's a must it's a rule the B is the first high as soon as possible after the A hello Hussein how are you do you great by teaching Afsan Stuff, my friend. I am watching record video after live session. Thank you. Thank you, Hussein. Nice to hear these things. 
what is the C point? The C point is the most difficult. The C point is the lowest point, not necessary a low, everybody, inside the AB boundary before the marker hits the appropriate D extension. And the D is the appropriate extension regarding the C retracement. Okay? And let's talk about the downtrend, which is going to be exactly the same, just in the opposite direction. A is the first high, it must be a high, this is a rule. The B is the first low as soon as possible after the A. It's a rule, it must be a low and it must be the first low as soon as possible after the A. The C is the highest point, not necessarily a high inside the AB boundary before the market hits the appropriate D extension and the D is the appropriate extension regarding the C retracement ok take a screenshot, make a photo with your cell phone or record this on your laptop, whatever how can C be a lowest point without being a low? I'm going to show you Okay, great question George, I'm going to show you. Type down everybody, after you took a screenshot or make a photo with your cell phone, type down in the chat so I can move on. Type down or OK or... Can we move on? Those are the rules of the ABCD swing. You need to remember this and you need to learn this. Okay, done, great. Now, up in here, up in here, let's start first in an uptrend, okay? So this is high to low, I mean low to high. Let's color code this in black. And together, so we have, we have the A, right? We have the A. And don't worry everybody, it's going to be a lot of information today, but you're going to learn this, no problem. And we have a B. So a low, B must be a high, right? Those are the rules. And if you don't have yet, we are going to put a Fibonacci scale, we are going to connect and contrarian original there you go and something like this okay now if you don't have these levels everybody again take a screenshot if you want I'm going to move it from here you should have zero you should have 14% okay in the retracement you should have zero you should have 14%, you should have 21.4, 382, 50, 618, 100, 118, 127, and 161.8. Okay? This is how how to do this? Well, you go on, click, click and you go on Fibonacci retracements. Not Fibonacci fan lines, not Fibonacci arcs, not Fibonacci circles, but you go on Fibonacci retracements and you click. Okay. And then when you click, it's going, you are going to open the Fibonacci retracement tool. And then you right click and you go edit levels, everybody. Right click on your Fibonacci retracement tool. Find edit levels and this scale is going to open. As you can see. And here you can mix the colors, you can mix the, 
the retracements, the extensions. Okay. Zero. 14, 21 point four, thirty-eight point two, fifty, sixty-one point eight, one hundred, one hundred eighteen, one hundred twenty-seven, and one six one eight, one six one point eight. Okay. And remember, everybody, you can rewatch this. I mean, please watch this webinar today's webinar over and over again okay now a to b this is the fibonacci tool now what is the c the c is the retracement and is the lowest point okay not necessarily a low but it's the lowest point inside the ab boundary and what is the d the d extension the D extension is the appropriate D extension regarding the retracement regarding the C and also here we have we have the rules between the retracements and the extensions okay now step by step very slowly those are the rules okay and this is the retracement zone okay this is the retracement zone let's write in here inside the AB boundary it what is called the retracement retracement zone okay from 0 to 100 is the retracement zone and from 100 to 1618 is the extension zone so we have the retracement zone and we have the extension zone edit label extension extension zone okay yes we are still talking about the rules okay so those are the rules how to identify the A and the B and those are the rules on what the A, B, C, D's are okay now we have a few more rules here first in an uptrend okay uh, those are the rules of the retracements and the relevant extensions okay Rule number one, if the market retraces and it doesn't touch the 618 retracement, the appropriate D extension is going to be the 1618. Okay, let's call this in red. Some passion, can you repeat? Yes, sir. If the retracement, if the retracement, we identify the A, we identify the B, and then the market starts retracing. If the retracement didn't touch the 61.8 retracement, the market just retraced a little bit. It's called a shallow retracement, right? And this is the C. So if the, the market retraces, just a little bit shallow retracement the appropriate d extension is going to be up in here 161.8 and this is a rule this is the d appropriate d extension right okay so this is the d up in here now if the market retraces and falls further and touches or breaks or goes through the 61.8 retracement the appropriate D extension is still the 161.8 but the C went down so we have a deeper C right now 
so as you can see everybody the D extension is it depends on the C, it depends on how deep the retracement is, go is going and you can also see that we have different colors for different retracements and different extensions okay you d now you don't need to remember the number I mean you, you need to have it in the Fibonacci tool but you don't need to, to remember the numbers okay just be aware if the market breaks or touches the green lines green levels then the property extension is going to be the green level if the market touches or breaks the blue level which is the 21.4 then the appropriate extension is going to be the 1 to 7 and if the market breaks or touches the 14 percent the appropriate extension is going to be the 118 if the market touches but does not break the zero level the a then the appropriate extension is going to be the 100 and if and when the market breaks the zero then the Fibonacci is not valid anymore we need to reverse our Fibonacci okay those are this is the why of the colors green 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 goes to green red goes to red blue goes to blue but let's continue step by step okay if the market falls further down and it breaks or touches the zero I mean the 50% not the zero the 50% level green goes to green the appropriate extension is going to be still the 1618 the extension yes the red color there you go so the 50% right the 50 there you go and now this is the C what is the C the C is the deepest point it's the lowest point not necessarily a low inside the AB boundary before the market hits the appropriate the extension what is the appropriate extension if the market hits the 50 the 50% green goes to green is the 1618 it's difficult don't worry everybody we're going to spend two months on the Fibonacci's okay this is lesson number one today don't worry we are going to spend two months on the Fibonacci's next if the market retraces and breaks and or touches the 38.2 which is here the relevant the extension again it's the 1618 green goes to green okay you don't need to remember the numbers and everything but our C point is down here okay passion why is this important well this is important because of our take profit levels if you are going to trade according to the Fibonacci's if the retracements are until the green area 618503832 then our take profit level is going to be the 1618 extension but if the market retraces further down right and hits and or touches and or breaks the 21.4 retracement then the appropriate the extension is going to be no, not 1618, but blue goes to blue, everybody. So this is going to be the appropriate the extension. Not the green anymore, no. 21.4 C retracement goes to 127 D extension. Okay? now what if the market goes in between what if the market goes in between the green and the blue one to seven yes sir 
if the market goes in between the green and the blue the appropriate extension is green so in other words it must touch and or break the level before it gets confirmed okay so from the big point lower until the green it's always 1618 the extension 618 green extension 500 green extension 382 green extension in between it went lower but it didn't touch the 21.4 retracement the D extension is still the green is the 618 okay yeah I know it's a lot of information no problem you're we're going to spend two months on the Fibonacci so don't worry this is the first but those are the basics those are the ABCD rules okay it's just this everybody then we're going to check the live market now the next are easy right if the market for, for any reasons goes down and touches the and or breaks the 14 percent right the red red goes to red so the appropriate extension is going to be the 118 okay and finally if it touches the black which is the zero percent the the property extension is going to be the 100 okay everybody the retracement zone and the extension zone any questions so far if do you have a question please type in the chat if not we are going to jump into the live market and we are going to answer what happened with the gbp cad we are going to answer how can a c point be a lowest point without being a low and remember i have a 20 seconds delay on the chat everybody the same rules apply in a downswing in a down fibonacci okay those are those are the ratio between the retracements but in practice is the 21.4 percent level important to be accurate or do we move to take profit level gradually between the green and the blue 21.4 is a retracement george we are profit taking at extensions not retracements okay why those numbers i don't know everybody i don't know why why 21.4 no idea i learned like this those are the numbers that i use okay and if you want to study the history of the Fibonacci you can go online there is I mean there are books on the golden ratio and whatever okay George we don't profit take in a retracement we profit take in an extension okay retracement zone everybody we enter retracement zone is trade entry and in the extension zone is the take profit take profit okay we are going to enter step by step we are going to enter in a retracement zone and we are going to take profit in the extension zone okay no question great so gbp cad right GB, gbp cad GBP CAD monthly chart first. GBP CAD monthly chart. Okay. This is the monthly chart, right? So we have the upper band and we have the lower band. So we are going to start from the lower band, right? Now, where is the first low? Is, is here right this is the first low 
and it's also the lowest low. Do we do we agree on that, everybody? Do do we agree that this is the first low? What are the rules saying? The A in an uptrend, the A is the first low. It happens to be the first low, and it happens to be also the absolute low or the lowest low on GBPCAD monthly chart. Do, do we agree everybody that this is the first low? In an uptrend this is the first low, right? Yes, okay, so we're going to write this down. So this is our A. Okay, this is our A point. Now, what is the B? Well, the B is the first high as soon as possible after the A. So I'm going to delete this circle. This is our A, right? Now, is Fibonacci reliable? 80% Silas. 80%. Fibonacci is going to win 8 times out of 10. Statistically speaking. Okay? But I have students here that they they say, oh, I don't like the Fibonacci. And I say, no problem. Oh, I'm not going to use the Fibonacci again. No problem. You, you, you don't need to use the Fibonacci. Go find another indicator, you know? Elliott Waves, Ichimoku. Okay? Silas, I'm teaching Fibonacci just because I use it. No other reasons. Okay? What is the B, everybody? The B is the first high as soon as possible after the A. So we have the A down in here. We have the B up in here. Do we agree on that, on the AB? Everybody? Am I breaking any rules? What is the A? The A is the first low in an uptrend. And what is the B? The B is the first high as soon as possible after the A. Well, this is the first high as soon as possible after the A. What is a high? A high is a center candle with two candles on the left, two candles on the right with lower high values. Okay? Now, we have found the A, we have found the B. We are going to take the Fibonacci retracement tool and we are going to connect the B to the A. Okay? And we are going to... You have here fixed right side if you want. So we are going to extend the parameters on the right so you can see. The A is the first low in an uptrend, the B is the first high as soon as possible after the A, which is this one. Now, what is the C? And this is tricky when you learn how to trade the Fibonacci numbers. The C point is the lowest point, not necessarily a low but is the lowest point inside the AB boundary before the market hits the appropriate extension. And we have... How many lows do we have here? We have... One is here, right? One... Two is here... Oh, this is not a low. One, two, three is here... Four is here, the fourth low... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is here, 6, okay, we're going to name it. So, which one is the, which one is the C point, everybody? Is the number 1, our C that we're looking for, is the number 2 or 3, the C point that we're looking for, which one is the correct low, I mean, which one is the correct C? What is the C? The C is the lowest point, not necessarily a low. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
one, two, three, four, five, one more, six. If the C is the lowest point inside the AB boundary, which of these lows after B it is ranging or not? Yes, it is, Apples. George is number five. Five, five, five. Five again. Okay, I'm in doubt between two and five, so I'm going to use the tool here. Let's see. There you go. So the candle of the two, the low is, where is the low? 1.52. 52475. 52426. Seven five four to six eight. Where is the low five? There you go. And yes, number five is correct. So A B C, right? Number five is the correct answer, everybody. A B C. There you go. This is our C. Okay, so if I'm going to enter everybody at the counter trend line break, okay, I'm going to enter at the counter trend line break because of this bullish engulfing candle or tweezer bottoms, whatever, okay, and I'm going to put my stop loss below the A okay this is going to be my stop loss below the A there you go stop loss below the A where should I profit take stop loss below the A where should my take profit go everybody remember the rules right if the market hits the 618.50382 until the blue one, until it touches the 21.4 retracement, where is my D extension? Okay, everybody, I, I forgot one thing. The D must be a high. The D is the appropriate extension regarding the C retracement. Okay, I forgot one thing. The D must must be a high. I forgot this. D must be a high. And in a downtrend, a D must be a low. Must be a low. Green, yes sir green okay so this is the first lesson we're going to talk about in two months about the Fibonacci but also the risk reward is great right so if I'm going to use the Fibonacci so this is my risk right and my reward I'm going to profit take at 1618 so we entered here I'm going to disable the widget and bam see everybody the market hit our the extension level right this is our the extension level question before we are going to adjust the Fibonacci question is this a D is this white candle so the market retraced until the 382, right? This is the market. A to B, B to C, C to D, right? Somewhere up in here. Okay. Let's do it like this. There you go. But is this a candle? Is this candle a D? 
this is the D extension level is this candle a D? no it's not, why not? correct George and Annie because it's not a high so this is a projected level now I need to go and find a high so and finally up in here this is the high okay and we just completed everybody we completed the first a b c d swing okay i'm going to delete the stop loss bye bye risk reward i'm going to delete the numbers okay delete 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 the numbers there you go when the market hits the appropriate D extension everybody and forms a high this is the D and what we're going to do well we're going to adjust our new Fibonacci because we have a new swing okay and A goes to C and B goes to D we just adjusted our new Fibonacci okay when the market hits the D extension, when the market hits the appropriate D extension, is game over, everybody. Okay, this is the rule. Another rule. When the market hits the uh, appropriate D extension, then is game over we need to draw a new Fibonacci okay and this is also a rule when the market hits the appropriate extension then is game over and we need to draw a new Fibonacci and again we need to follow the rules why is that because the D is a high okay if you would draw your Fibonacci like this this would be an error why is that because you don't have a high in here yes it's not a high okay so we just adjusted and our our new Fibonacci A goes to B I mean A goes to C B goes to D and we have a new a B C D upswing okay now A B C D okay everybody now again we have a few lows right so let me see this is the first low this is the second low this is the third low this is the where is the fourth fourth low right this is the fifth okay I'm going to delete this one which which one everybody is the correct answer is the C is the number one our C what is the C the C is the lowest point not necessarily a low inside the AB boundary before the mark hits the appropriate D extension so which one is correct? 1, 2, 3 4 or 5 everybody what is the C? the C is the lowest point inside the AB boundary before the market hits the appropriate the extension so which one is the C? is the number 1 our C? is the 2? is the 3? is the 4? is the 5? Any says number 1, Aqua says number 1, Sila says number 1 is anybody in here who thinks that number 4 or 5 are the correct answer? please ask questions everybody better for you to ask questions than to be or stay in doubt 
when you are in front of your trading station one all outside of the AB boundary all of them one okay is anybody here who thinks no wait a minute the number four is the deepest point inside the AB boundary or no number five is the deepest point inside the AB boundary yeah Miguel before it hits the property extension now the high is near to number three okay everybody is this is you and you are thinking no the number four and the number five are correct the correct answer the correct answer is what George and Final and Silas and Aquas and Annie and Miguel are telling the correct answer is number one okay why is that because the C is the lowest point inside the AB boundary this is the B this is the A inside the AB boundary before the market hits the appropriate D extension in the appropriate D extension is up in here just make it like this oh <laughs> now you got it okay oh now you got it so the C is the lowest point inside the AB boundary before the market hits the appropriate D extension so if you follow the price movement what we're going to see the market retraced until here and it went up until here and it closed or finished right it closed it went to the appropriate the extension what is the maximum the extension is the 1618 this is why the number one is the correct answer of course the number two and three there are are not lower or higher but this is the answer why you cannot count number four and five inside the AB boundary passion can you repeat yes sir you cannot count four and five because the market already hit the appropriate the extension and the maximum the extension is the 1618 if the market would not hit the 1618 then in that case our C point would be down in here but because the market hit our D extension the 1618 in here right this is why the C is up in here okay now the market hit the D extension and what we're going to do well A goes to C A goes to C I'm going to delete the number delete 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 yes we're going to continue tomorrow don't worry okay step by step A goes to C and B goes to D and we are going to draw a new Fibonacci okay going to delete this delete 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 now as you can see everybody our up Fibonacci was broken the market broke our up Fibonacci in here the market broke our A right the market broke our up Fibonacci what does this mean? Well, this means that this Fibonacci is not relevant anymore. Okay? And this means that we need to reverse our Fibonacci. And we don't have time, everybody. There is one more minute. Rakesh is coming on stage, I think. But we're going to continue tomorrow on this pair, okay? just quickly what happened let me see GBP CAD we are shorting the market was GBP CAD or was other one which one was 
was the GBP cat pair. Which pair was it? Daily chart. Two hour chart, let me see. Was this pair or was some other pair? Oh, a GBP NZD, okay, great. Oh, can we consider the top SB? Can we consider the top SB? No, not anymore. Now it's very difficult. We don't know if we reach C before we reach the D, which means we cannot trade. Everybody, I'm sorry, but we don't have time or any more time, okay? But pose this question, please. Do pose this question tomorrow, okay? Five now. Can we consider the top SB? Not anymore. The Fibonacci reversed. Okay. Before the market broke, the answer was yes. Before the market broke, the answer. Before the market broke the Fibonacci, the answer was yes. But then we know when we are analyzing the market, the market broke our upswing. So the answer is no, not anymore. Okay, everybody, see you back tomorrow. Stay strong and trade with passion. This is FX Passion signing off.